Greetings, peoples, and welcome back to the Sonic Mania playthrough. We are here in Lava Reef Zone from Sonic 3 and Knuckles, or as I like to call it, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 CDR and Knuckles Chaotic Spinball Mania Cookies Island. Sorry, I was thinking of a different Sonic game. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 CDR and Knuckles Chaotic Spinball Mania Cookies Island is obviously the best Sonic game of all time, and if you don't know about that game, you're, you're not a true Sonic fan. Tr trust me, every true Sonic fan knows about that game. By the way, I love this background. Absolutely love it. Oh wow, would you look at that, I found something new to praise. Even though I've, I'm pretty sure I've already praised the background of multiple other stages, but, you know, it works. Time for some pseudo 3D! Wow. Oh, that was, that was short lived. And now we have entered easy mode. Now nothing can hurt you in this stage, unless you run into spikes, which, you know, if you're careful, then... Yeah, th this is easy mode. As long as you have a fire shield and lava reef, you're fine. Practically nothing can hurt you. Right here, bring this back. I like how they kept the invincibility monitor over there. That, that's really nice. Also, I like the integration of the hilltop dinosaur badniks in Lava Reef. They just fit. It, it's like the same how those worm badniks from Angel Island were put in the chemical plant. They just fit in ways you never thought of before. One insanely small pet peeve. Is that elevator I was just riding, along with all the other elevators of Lava Reef Zone? Yeah, just... They, they don't, like, go as fast as in Sonic 3 if you're mashing the spin dash button, jump button while revving up the spin dash. I, I know that's incredibly anal of me and probably the most... Prob probably the biggest nitpick I've ever heard anyone say. And that's coming from my myself. Um, but, yeah, think... Like, I, I don't want to go for the obvious complaints, like, Oh, reuse levels. I want original levels. This new level is good. I like good stuff. Like, I don't, I don't want to go for that, because everyone knows that everyone wants original levels. And with Sonic Mania 2, which is not announced yet, but we all know what's happening. Especially with how successful this game was. Oh, more pseudo 3D. But, yeah, the, you know that Christian Whitehead and Simon Tom Lee, again, along with everyone else, they're, they're gonna try to... They're gonna try to put all original levels into Sonic Mania. They're creative people. Everyone knows they can do it. Unless Takashi Yuzuka just says, No! People are sick of Green Hill? We need Emerald Hill! But yeah, that, that's exactly what we need. But no, it, it's gonna be Neo Green Hill. Or Mecha Green Hill. That way you can stay in line with the classics. Mecha Green Hill, Sonic Mania 2. First level. It's gonna be... This game is all the Genesis games with a lot of Game Gear references. Sonic Mania 2 is gonna be Game Gear levels with Genesis references or whichever Genesis references they can still use that haven't already been used in Mania because everything was referenced in Mania, practically. My god, I, I, I love this background. It's just, you know, <laughs> as weird as this is going to sound, the background somewhat, for, for just some reason, it reminds me of, um... Has anybody here watching this video right now, has, have any of you played the Sega Genesis game Radical Rex? It, it tried to capitalize on the same success of a, like, animal mascot platformer, like Sonic only is on the Genesis, so clearly if you were getting the Genesis for any platformer, it was going to be Sonic, but 
anyone who has ever heard of or seen or played Radical Rex, um, like, I, I want to know in the comments, like, that, that, I don't know why the background reminds me of that, but I have no idea why. If anyone has an idea as to why it could possibly remind me of Radical Rex, just let me know because I, I, I honestly want to know because I have no idea why. <laughs> it's like, this Sonic Mania background reminds me of an old Sonic ripoff. Like, I, I mean, hey, the, the train section in uh, Mirage Saloon reminds people of Bubsy. Honestly, I can see it. I just chose not to acknowledge it because I'm, I, I don't want to think of Bubsy right now. We're not getting a Bubsy sequel. I'm sorry for all you Bubsy fans out there. But oh my god, that background's a. Oh. Oh. There goes the background. Oh. Like I was saying earlier with Mirage Saloon and the, like, electric guitar and the. Like, just making me think Sonic. Same goes for this level. That that electric guitar. I don't know what it is about electric guitars and making me like making me instantly think of Sonic. Probably the adventure games. I I played those a lot. But yeah, I, I just love any pr almost every Sonic like music track that uses the electric guitar because it's never used. Badly, at least to my knowledge, or every time I've heard it, maybe well used. Well used. But not exactly sure if that's the correct phrase I should be using or not. Again, those are words that I just spoke. Ooh. Well, looky here, the background's finally back, only to instantly be covered up and concealed. Again. Oh, there's a glimpse of it. Oh, there's that beautiful background. Oh, it looks so... Oh. Oh. Come on. Come on, me. Come on, past me. Go out. Go out. Let's see that beautiful background. Oh, yeah, that looks great. Oh. Oh. It's being concealed again. And... Oh. Oh, it's back. It, no. Yeah. I don't know why. That's just... A pet peeve of mine when it comes to Lava Reef Act 2 and Mania. Like, this original background that they have is just beautiful. Like, look at this. It's beautiful. But every time it's showed, it's only showed for like three seconds and then covered up by the... I don't want to say this is like the rock background of the original Lava Reef looks bad. It still looks good. But, you know, like, look at that background piece. I, I wish the entire stage was just that, like just that background. Just make it look more interesting. Again, I'm not saying this looks bad. This game looks beautiful. I don't think there's a thing, a single thing about Mania that looks bad. But just saying that that looks pretty incredible. Again, fire shield, so I win. Oh, yeah, forgot about this. Um, yeah, uh, Little Planet is being showed in the uh, background of this. You see right there. Um, Little Planet is going to be showing up later on in the game. Just figured I'd mention that now because, yeah, I used to also think that um, where this game went towards the end was very random with Little Planet. You'll, you'll see what I mean later on near the end of the playthrough. And, I mean, considering that I'm uploading all of these last few parts on the same day, I mean, it's pretty... I mean, just go from this moment and skip straight to the, the final part and see what I mean, but... Okay. Oh my god, this background's huge. Give me that special stage room. Alright. Oh, look at this background. Oh yeah! I forgot I had Super Sonic! I, I legitimately just forgot I had Super Sonic. Pretty sure past me also forgot, because I haven't been using it 
most of this playthrough. Um, yeah. Super Sonic. Which, thankfully, they patched in a transformation button separate from the jump button into a uh, mania. Also, new secret I just found there with those 20 rings and the extra life. This is probably going to be like Sonic 3 and Knuckles, where every time I play the game, I'm finding new secrets. It's going to be like 10, 20 years in the future, I'm still going to be finding new stuff. Climbing up to where Knuckles Chris Redfielded us. That's a reference for that. Little planet again in the background. Again, this background looks beautiful, but we only get to see it for a very limited time near the end of the stage. Also, Hidden Palace. Here's another hard boiled heavy riding Jimmy the Motobug in reference to uh, uh, this guy named Jimmy that made a Sonic 1 ROM hack where you play as a Motobug. I actually hadn't really seen the ROM hack in a long time, but Jimmy, he lives on in Sonic Mania. Cool reference, though. Nice. Alright, guys. We are about to end Lava Reef. If past me will end the stage. I forget what I was trying to... Oh, I remember what I was trying to do. I was going to get on top of the... Yeah. Okay. I, I couldn't have just ended it. No, I, I had to be fancy. Now I'm trying to get Tails to fall off. So he can come on yeah there we go past me all right so everybody now that past me has finished the stage i will see you all in the next part of sonic mania see you then